This video is a demonstration of how to add an embedded image to a website. So let's start by going to jsfiddle.net. And we can go ahead and close out that part right there. Now to add an image to a website, what we have to do is we first type, it's like a tag, so IMG is the tag, and then we type and four attributes. So source um, is where we're going to put the location of the image so the browser knows where to find it. Then we have to put in an alt, which describes the image to someone that can't see the image. Um, and we also need a height. And then for us, that's gonna, we're going to use a two, height of 200 for today for this. For this. And then we're going to do a width of 200. And it's 200 pixels. And don't forget to put the closing bracket. We don't put in, you know, image is a self-closing, and we used to put with a self-closing uh, a slash so that you know that it was a self-closing, but with HTML5, they took that out. So you don't put a slash, you just close it, and everyone just knows that image and browsers know that image is a self-closing tag and they're not expecting it to be closed. Okay, so now we run this and nothing happens because we have to tell it what the image is, and we're gonna do that in source. A good way to find images to play with on your website, not for publishing, that's a different thing, but for just to play with on your website to see if, it, if, it, if it's working, is to um, go to um, images.google.com. And there on images.google you can actually search for something. So search for something that you want to search for. I'm going to search for a picture of a, um, of a cactus. I'm in Arizona right now, so a picture of a cactus. All right, um, now here's a bunch of pictures of cactuses, but I want a picture that's a certain size for my website, right? So then I'm gonna go back to more, oh, I'm sorry, over to settings, over to tools, sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna specify what size I want. So now I can look for certain colors, images. I could look for certain usage rights, but I'm not gonna publish this, so I don't have to um, do that. So size, and I'm going to go down to exactly 200 by 200. And the reason for the small size is so I have something that fits in a little JS fiddle. All right, but it's very important when you have an image that you know what the size of the image is so you can specify the height and the width of the image. So now I'm coming back, well these are all 200 by 200 images of cactus. So I'll find a good one here. Here's a cute one, I'll pick this one. I pick you, I choose you, just like choosing a Pokemon. So I choose this image. Now, one thing that I think works better, now you could right click and you could copy the link address here, but I think it works better, or copy the image address. What I think works better, especially in Google Images, is to first open the image in a new tab. So that's what I usually do. So open image in a new tab. And now I can see the URL right here, right? I'm gonna copy this. I'm I mean, well, I could right click, I should be doing the command C to copy that. Now I bring that back over to my JS fiddle and that goes into my source attribute. That long URL goes into my source attribute. So now I'm gonna do command V and paste that in there. All right, so now when I run, I should see an L there. That's actually pretty nice with the white background. So it's actually a two, 200 by 200 um, image of some cactus. Now, I also have to tell people what this image looks like so that people who can't see the image can still know that it's there. It's also very important for SEO so that Google can see what's in the image. So I'm gonna put in um, three cute cacti, I think that's the plural, um, in white pots. So that anyone who can't see the image can know what that image, what is supposed to be in that image. Um, so now I run that and it doesn't change anything when I put in the alt text, but yet it's still very important. So that is how we added an embedded image. Just to review, you need four attributes. The first one is the source, the second one is the alt, and then you need a height and you need a width. And those are the four attributes that you need every time you put an image in a website. 